we've used every naive idea about scaling of these equations and shown that they only have one parameter, which is very pleasant. Just like Reynolds' equations only had one parameter. Even though the physics were complicated, this gets replaced by Reynolds' number after the dimensional result. The second thing that you might not have appreciated before this course happened to you, in nonlinear dynamics, symmetry is incredibly important. More so than ever, when you start doing real problems like Navier-Stokes equations. It truly doesn't make sense to do anything unless you've understood the symmetries of your problem. And that can be done fairly simply on the level of the equations that you're given. But you discover that even a very simple problem like this one can have quite intricate symmetry structure. Even yeah, just ring on fire on a circle turns out it's not true. So here is the first observation. It's called Galilean. The way I gave you these equations, and if I didn't plug them as one-dimensional version of Navier Stokes, there would be no reason for you to think of u as a velocity field. It's just some scalar field because its velocity field is only one component. It's only when you start looking at dimensionality you realize that this has dimensions of velocity field. Because it's very easy to check that if I write if u xt a solution, then So this is a velocity of moving Galilean frame. If I subtract where I'm on a moving frame, that's what this does, and subtract the velocity from the field itself, and stick this in the equations, I will show that equations keep their own form. So that means that the absolute velocity, we have a handle on it because there's a whole family of solutions which are identical because this is a simple transformation, it's just frame transformation. So that says it's natural to choose zero mean velocity frames. It's natural to take dx and integrate ux e equals zero. That says, when I look at my velocity frame here, compared to what I call zero, part of the time I'm going this way and part of the time I'm going that way. And on average, the frame uh, has zero velocity. The frame as such doesn't move up or move down. It just stays stationary in the mean. So that's a totally reasonable physical thing. That's the first symmetry.